Okay, we're going to start off this unit by doing a quick review of graphing, since we haven't done it for a little bit here. Now, if you have a coordinate plane, just a quick review again, uh, the horizontal axis is called your x-axis, your vertical axis is called your y-axis. We also break the plane up into four different what are called quadrants, and they're actually numbered uh, counterclockwise, one, two, three, and four. Oops, sorry. Um, when you plot points on a coordinate plane, they are labeled with an XY pair, and we usually put them in parentheses like this, and the origin, this point right here, is always zero, zero. Okay, just a quick review over that. Now, we learned in Concept 16, no, I guess, yeah, about uh, ordered pairs. And uh, we said one of the ways we can represent them is as uh, an X, Y in parentheses, and, they repre and we could represent, represent them on a graph as well. I need you to be able to look at a graph and pick a point off that graph and give me the ordered pair for that point. So if I look at A here, um, I went to the left four, and then I went up six. So since I went to the left, that's going to be a negative six. Oops, sorry, four. And since I went up, that's a positive six. Okay, then if I look at B, I'm not going left or right at all. So if I don't go left or right, I'm going to indicate that by zero. And then I'm going up four. Now notice each time I start at the origin. So on C, if I start at the origin, I'm going to go to the right four and then up two to get to C. So since I went to the right four, that's a positive four. I went up two, that's a positive two. And the last one I'm doing is D. And notice that I go from the origin straight over to D. That is 8. But I don't go up and down at all, so I indicate that with a 0. So those are the ordered pairs that go with those points on the graph. I would like you to practice this. So let's go to the next slide. And I have these points. I want you to pause the video and write the ordered pair for the points on the graph. Okay, so look at your points and the coordinate, the ordered pairs that you wrote down and see if they correspond with mine. All right, the next thing I want us to look at is actually, I give you x, y values and I want you to plot them. <clears throat> And I just want to review that when I give you the x value, that means you're going to go left or right. Negative means go left, positive means, goes, means go right. When I give you the y value, that means go up or down. Now, you're always going to start at 0. So if I plot this first one, that means I'm going to start at 0. I'm going to go negative 5 to the left 5. And then I'm going to go down, because it's negative 4, down 4. But I'm not actually going to draw those lines on my graph. I'm going to put a nice big fat point there, but I'm not going to draw those lines. Okay, so the next point that I do, I'm going to say it's negative 1, negative 1. So again, I'm back to 0, and I go to the left 1, down 1. I'm going to make a nice big point there. And... Let's do 3, 2. So I'm starting at 0. I'm going to the right 3 because it's positive and up 2 because that's positive. Make a nice big fat point there. And lastly, I'm going to do 7, 5. So I'm going to, from 0, I'm going to the right 7. And then from 7, I'm going to go up 5. I'm going to have to zoom in on that so I can see where I'm doing make a nice big point there. All right, so remember you always start at zero. You don't draw the lines, but you do draw your end point. All right, so now what I would like you to do is go to the next slide, 
pause the video and plot these points on a graph. Okay, so check your points against the ones I have plotted here, and I tried to color code mine so you could see which points went, went with which coordinates. All right. Now, the last thing I think I would like to go over here is graphing using an XY graph. And I think we did this in Unit 16. So let's just kind of go through some vocab. Why, when we talk about a function, that's just another way to say equation. And y is a function of x. We would write that as f of x. And that just means y equals. Okay. Now, when you have a table, you have your inputs, which are your x values, and they're also called your domain. I need you to know those. And in this particular table, my domain is negative 2, 0, and 2. And then you have a function, and the function I have given you is, sorry, um, is f of x equals 2x plus 5. That is the rule or the function rule that you're going to use. You're going to put your inputs into that, and that's going to give you your outputs. So, um, wait, hang on just a second. Now, one of the things I'm going to ask you is to always pick three points, a negative, zero, and positive. Those are just always the three easiest points when you're using an XY table, but uh, the function rule that you use is going to dictate what you're, what you're going to pick. If I don't give you the domain, um, you're going to pick a domain based on the function rule. In this one, I've just picked negative two, zero, two, and we're going to put, in this first one, we're going to take uh, the value of x, and we're going to put it in our function rule. And that's going to give us y. 2 times negative 2 is negative 4 plus 5 is 1. And then I'm going to say, I'm going to put 0 in for x, and I'm going to get that my y, or my output, or my range is 5, and then I'm going to put 2 in for x, and I'm going to get that my output or um, <clears throat> y value is 9. Now my range for my domain is 1, 5, and 9. Okay, so that's a real quick review, and I think you can go on to the next video now.